Hello, my name is Roberto Gamberini, and I am a senior undergrad in biomedical engineering at the University of South Carolina. You're here uh, because you want to learn how to use Gromax. I decided to make a series of videos that will explain step by step how to install the software as well as how to use it. Um, Chromax is a molecular dynamics package mainly designed for the simulations of proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. It was originally developed in, in the uh, biophysical chemistry department of University of Groningen, but now is uh, kept out by contributors around the world. I wanted to make a detailed guide due to the difficulty that I found when I was giving this project uh, using Romax. I wanted to show anyone interested all that i would found at this point. I am by no means an expert in this subject, but I'll try my best to be as detailed as possible. So let's begin. Uh, the first thing you need to do is install Ubuntu. You can technically install any Linux distro that uh, you preferred, but to keep things simple, well, just do what I know it's the easiest, and that's Ubuntu. There are many ways that you could start using Ubuntu. You could run a live version from a USB drive or install parallel software that will allow you to run Ubuntu while running Windows at the same time. Uh, or you can also just run a Ubuntu Bash shell that will just run a Linux terminal, which is honestly the only thing you need to work with Romex. But all these choices will lead you to a halfway solution, uh, which is why I would strongly recommend that you install Ubuntu as a partition on your device. Before we install Ubuntu, let's get things lined up. First of all, let's assume that you own your uh, personal computer and that you're running some version of Windows. As far as I understand, most of what we're about to do uh, should be the same as in Mac OS, but I would strongly recommend getting yourself a Windows machine. You will also need a four gigabyte or higher flash drive. And if you have all these things, then we just need to start downloading some stuff. I made sure to include a download link in the description of this video with uh, all these files, these two files. Uh, depending on how old this video is to you, these might be somewhat outdated, but you'll be doing the, the exactly the same thing I'm doing right now. First, uh, let's go to the official Ubuntu website. So from here, you try to download the latest, most uh, latest stable uh, operating system version, which should be this one. And we're just going to put it on the desktop. I'm not going to do that since I already downloaded this. And we're also going to get Rufus, which is a software that will allow you to create a bootable format of your um, a bootable format of the Ubuntu OS. So once you have the, those two things installed, you want to make sure that whatever flash drive you have at the moment is uh, clean. So we're going to format that, name it anything you want, it's something that's easy to recognize. And we're just going to format it real quick. All right, that's done. And we're going to open Rufus. You want to select your flash drive. From here on out, try to make sure that this is the only flash drive connected to your computer because uh, it will make things uh, much easier when uh, trying to launch the, um, the software to install Ubuntu. You want to put this in FreeDOS. You want to select your file. That should be good enough. And we're just going to hit start. And whatever it says, doesn't matter. So 
So now what technically, uh, essentially what Rufus does is try to unpack the ISO file into the uh, flash drive. So you have a, a functioning flash drive able to install it into an, any machine that you like. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait until this finishes. Hopefully it will be done by the time I'm um, I finished talking about this, but, uh, once you have that ready, uh, you'll need to turn off your PC and repeatedly hit the BIOS key. In my case, that would be the F12 key. It, it could be different in your system. It might be F10, it might be F11, I don't know. But usually you should be able to, like, turn it off and then turn it on again and immediately when it starts running just start hitting the f12 key and you'll see a menu that you, it means that you 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 access the bios uh, menu and you want to choose the option with your uh, arrow keys select the op option to launch the um, launch the the, the software that's on your USB uh, drive. Once you do that, you should be launching into the Ubuntu installer software. I won't be able to help you from here and out, so I'm leaving a detailed tutorial that has almost everything I've talked about in the description. I can't help you during the installation of Ubuntu because I can't run uh, a screen capture software while installing the OS. So I'm just leaving you a guide that should be able to help you if you run into any problems, but it should be pretty straightforward. Now, some things I would like to mention, be sure to, um, I think the minimum is like 20 gigs that you should be able to partition for Ubuntu. Try to get, try to get as much as you can because, um, Sometimes the file that the files that you're going to create are going to be somewhat large and you want some uh, some leeway in terms of uh, space. But anyway, that's up to you. That's your decision. And right now I'm going to finish that I'm, I'm going to wait until this finishes. And the only thing you need to do is Turn off your machine, turn it on again, and hit that F12 key. Alright, so assuming you've already installed uh, Ubuntu, uh, there are a couple things I need to tell you before we start installing Gromex. First of all, um, make sure that you've installed all your um, updates. If you press the uh, Windows and A key at the same time, you should have this pop up. These are all your apps currently installed. Click this icon over here, and uh, the software updater should pop up. Uh, make sure that it's up to date. Uh, this should be done automatically once you uh, log in uh, for the first time, but just make sure that it is up to date. And also, uh, just to let you know, uh, all uh, Linux operating systems are basically all run through the terminal like if you want to install an app if you want to move some files you just need to use your terminal and uh, do all that and uh, the different distros just make it easier for you to do all that without having to use the terminal for every single thing so uh, if you just want to like open up the app you could you press to your Windows key and your 8 button and you click on the terminal I think the uh, easiest way to do that is just pressing Control Alt and T, and the terminal should pop up. All right. So um, on the files that I uh, put in the description to download, you should have a text file that's called Chrome X. So open that up, and this is basically all you need to do to install Chrome X. So the only thing you need to do is either control C and then control shift and B and you should be able to copy paste everything from this text file to here or you just type it up 
So every time you do a pseudo, meaning that you're be, uh, you're telling the system that you're the admin, you have to write down your password. So if you don't want to like write a lot, just make sure that your password is something short and easy. Uh, we're doing sudo apt upgrade and update, which is just basically telling the system to just update and update, update and upgrade every um, package that you have and the uh, the distributor where you got it from. So yes. So right now we're what we're doing is uh, building all of the required settings that you need to install Chrome X. It should be a very simple process because, uh, like the videos I've seen before, have very old operating systems, old like CPU and stuff. So. Um, if you have a fairly new computer, this should take about 10 minutes. That's basically what you need to do is just copy paste every one of these things and press yes every time they ask you to do so. And you'll be on your way to just starting your first simulation. Overall, this whole process is not hard. It's just I wanted to make this video just to have everything you need from installing a Linux distro to the point of installing Romex just in a single video where you can see like everything that you need to do and be as explicit as possible and this is like the largest file so I could just start making our first simulation but I already think that this video is long enough so my the next video I'm gonna do next video that should be on the list is how to um, how to make your first simulation um, shouldn't take long and I'll teach you some ways where you can just uh, build something much faster than I think that most people on YouTube right now have available but uh, let me test something right now So just to show you that we've installed Chromex, just type GMX, which tells the terminal to access Chromex and dash version. And right here, this is basically Chromex. This is what you'll see every time you uh, use Chromex. Version 2018. And that's it. You've successfully installed Chromex on your uh, computer, and now you're ready to start building your simulations. Well, uh, see you in the next video. Uh, take care.